Hey guys, what's up? It's Looney TNT. So today I'm going to do a video on um, how to get uh, artifact power the fastest way. I've looked at a lot of different guides trying to find um, a guide for this, right? Because I had someone ask me, what do you think the fastest way to get artifact power is? And in all honesty, I didn't really grind out my artifact power as a chore. I kind of did it organically, right? Because I was focused on um, getting a legendary. So I did a lot of things to try to get a legendary. And in that sense, I gained artifact power. I just got my third trait. And I don't have, you know, the most artifact power in the world. But I couldn't find a, a good source where a guide was actually talking about artifact power. The only guides out there were like, um, do research. And that's it, right? So... I'm going to talk about some ways the, that I got artifact power fast, not even trying to get artifact power. So the first thing is world quests, you know? World quests are amazing at getting artifact power. So let me just go over this real quick. A lot of you guys know this, but if you go in and you look at your quest, you try to find one with artifact power. Here's one right here. It's going to give me 1.8k. All I got to do is I got to uh, uh, rescue six prisoners. That's it. Six. Right by a flight path. Get it done. Couple minutes. 1.8. And then you just you look all over the map and you find those and do them all. And that's actually a really good way to get a really good bulk amount of artifact power every day. Now, here's the problem. These you can't sustain and continuously do them, right? You can't grind them out over and over and over and over because there's going to be no more. So that way is a good burst, but you're going to have to do other things also. The next thing that I do is I always get my heroic done for the day. The first heroic you do that day, you're going to gain, um, for me, 3,000 artifact power. For you, it could be less. For you, it could be more, whatever it is. And that's one reason I'm not doing an artifact per hour because, you know, just doesn't work because everybody gets different amounts. Doing that heroic is very important. And you'll also get a decent amount of um, artifact power in the heroic that you run. Because when you kill the bosses, you're going to get a little chance to get some like talisman thing that you can use and uh, it gives you some artifact power. So those are cool too, right? But... After you've already done your heroic daily, right? That's pretty much what it is. You're not going to be doing it and farming it over and over because now it gives you, for me, 170 artifact power for completing the dungeon. That's overall not worth it. It's not going to move my bar very much um, to do a long dungeon like that. Maybe I do get a chance at a legendary maybe for heroic, but it's not that big of a deal. So... Mythics. We go into a mythic. Those little talismans that dropped in uh, heroics, well now they're going to be um, way more. So in a, in a mythic I get 1500 rather than 410 it gives me. So you get a couple pieces in that, you know, maybe you get two pieces in a mythic run um, of the talismans, that's 3000 artifact power right there. So that's really, really good. Now let's talk about the best. The best and the worst the same time it's the best and the worst method to grind out artifact power mythic plus dungeons mythic plus dungeons will give you a heck of a lot of artifact power but if you're unlucky you can get none yep risk and reward right um when you're doing lower tier mythic pluses such as twos or threes or even fours and you're trying to three chest it if you don't get a piece of gear, if you don't get a legendary, sometimes even if you do get a piece of gear, you'll get those talismans in there also, which are big ones, and they're going to give you uh, a lot of artifact power, right? And remember, when you're doing two or three chest runs, you're completing these really fast. So let's say you do a, um, a mall two, three chest, right? You're going to get three chests. Well, there's a chance that you're going to get six talismans. 
right? That's you know, let's let's round it to like 9,000 artifact power in a, a 15 20 minute run. That's pretty good. That's really good. But there's also a chance that you'll get gold in every single chest. But there's also a chance you'll get a legendary in every single chest. So um, Mythic Plus Dungeons are going to be the best and the worst way to do them. So, you know, there's anything that you're going to be doing on this game. Uh, most things you're going to be getting artifact power for. So that's kind of the cool thing. But if you're really hardcore and you really want to grind it out, Mythic Plus Dungeons are going to be the way uh, that you're going to want to do this. It's the fastest, but just sometimes, you know, you'll get gold and two chests out of three. And it's like, what? You know, so you end up with 200 gold and, you know, uh, a junk epic that you're going to uh, sell to the vendor. You know, it happens. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Um, leave in the comments if there's any ways that you guys have found grinding out artifact power really quick because there's always different methods that other players make. So if there was something that I didn't mention that you really like, leave it in the comments. Um, guys, thumb it up so people can see it, and that's about it. All right, guys, like, favorite, share. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subbed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next video.